Imagine there's an app running all the time on your phone, watching what you type, what you open, and even using your camera behind your back and you have no idea it's there. This app isn't a virus. It's actually part of your system. But what's behind it is far more dangerous than you think. In this video, you'll discover the secret companies don't want you to know and how to stop it before it learns more about you than you know about yourself. This app is called Android System Intelligence, and it's a built-in part of the system designed to add some smart features to your phone, but behind those features lies a massive amount of tracking. Companies say it's meant to improve user experience, but in reality, for it to work, it needs to know everything about you. Let's look at some real examples. One, smart text selection. When you highlight an address or a number in a message, your phone suggests opening it in Google Maps or calling it directly, but to do that, it must see what you highlight and what you type. In other words, the app literally reads the text you interact with. Two, clipboard suggestions. When you copy text, the app suggests where to paste it or shows a notification with a suggestion. That means it's monitoring everything you copy, even passwords or bank details. This is a huge privacy concern since copying and pasting happens in all apps from Facebook to WhatsApp to your banking app. Three, now playing. This feature, exclusive to Pixel phones, recognizes songs playing nearby and displays their names on your screen. But to work, the microphone has to stay on all the time. That means your phone is always listening, even when you're silent. Imagine how much information could be recorded. Four, smart reply. This feature shows quick reply options in apps like Messenger or WhatsApp. But to suggest a reply, it must first read your message. That means the app has permission to read your conversations completely. Five, app actions. This feature tries to predict your next move. For example, if you call your mom every night at 10 p.m., your phone will automatically suggest calling her. It does this by tracking your activity, your location, and how often you open certain apps. All of that forms a detailed pattern of your behavior, a goldmine for advertising companies. Six, smart rotation. This feature uses the camera to detect how you're holding your phone. If you're lying down, the camera checks your face so the screen doesn't rotate incorrectly. But here's the question, why keep the camera active all the time just for that? For these features to function, the app needs extensive permissions. Camera, microphone, location, messages, calls, contacts. Companies claim most of this data is stored locally on your device. But part of it, like Smart Reply, actually gets sent to company servers. That means there's always a chance your data could leak or be shared with others. Even if the data is supposed to stay local, any malware that bypasses Android security could easily access it. So having all that sensitive information stored in one place is a major risk by itself. Uh, so what can you do? The solution is simple. Step one, disable the app completely. If you don't need it, go to settings, apps, Android system intelligence, Storage. Tap Clear Data. This deletes everything the app has already collected about you. Then go back and tap Disable App to turn it off. That's it, the app stops running, and your phone's basic features won't be affected. Is disabling it risky or wrong? Not at all. This app isn't essential like Bluetooth or the core Android system. You'll only lose the smart features we mentioned, nothing critical. 
You know, in fact, many users reported that after disabling it, their battery life improved and the phone ran faster. In the end, Android system intelligence was made to make your life easier, but it costs you your privacy. If privacy matters more to you than a few smart suggestions, disable it now. And if you still want those features, at least clear old data and review its permissions regularly. See you in the next video.